morning guys, it's day 2 of Lundo. We're gonna explore other parts of the island like Doctor Observatory and maybe other parts of the island, the smaller towns where we have to take the buses out. So let's go. Doctor Cable Car. In order to get to the Doctor Museum and Cable Car by public transport, you can alight at Dodong and then you can take a 15 to 20 minute walk up and you reach this beautiful place. So the museum is split into four main exhibition halls. Most of the displays have English words. However, the multimedia displays are mostly in Korean. But you still can get quite a lot of information from the displays. So do come down and check it out before you head up to the observatory as you know more about the island and better appreciate what this island is about. I don't think the camera is able to catch it But the island is somewhere around there All I can see is a little silhouette of an island But yeah, you can see All around us it's So beautiful <laughs> Even though the weather is very clear today, I only can see a small speck of Dokdo and that's already counted lucky. So don't expect much because the island is still 87km away. It's still a beautiful view here though. So if you really want to go and check out Dokdo, I'll recommend you to take the ferry. However, there's limited space for the ferry and it takes around 3.5 hours for a round trip. So you have to have enough time here or you can just look at it from here. So I've taken the public bus and now I'm in the town of Teha. It's a 40 minute ride, so let's go find out what we can do here. So here's where you get the ticket. 4,000 for one ticket. Up. So everyone is facing front. And I'm the one facing I'm the only one facing back. Wow, it's actually very steep. 60, 70 degrees. Look at it. We are so close yet we are so high up already. Due to the low ridership, it comes back up in one hour. So we have one hour to explore the peak. Let's go and take a look. Sometimes I'm gonna explore where this path leads to. Mm, there are these ropes. Shall I cross? Let's go. Leads down a path. Hello kitty. And I don't think I'm going down. So yeah. <laughs> I'm still nearby. Oh, I wish I brought some snacks up. <laughs> there wasn't any mini mark in the small town of Teha, so it's better if you buy some stuff from Dodong while you bought the bus. Now I have some apple juice and this beautiful view to enjoy. Throughout the entire duration I'm here, there's this pulley that's 
pulling some that's turning and then I just realized it's actually pulling the cargo over there all the way there yep because yeah that's so cool that was fun now I need to catch the monorail back down if not I have to wait for another hour it's here at 1.30 not so bad I don't know why everyone hates taking the opposite direction as you can see they're all there so it's like more room for me then now I'm gonna take a look at that structure there next to the monorail station I hope it's not close it's four stories high so let's go Alright, I've reached the last part and the view is breathtaking. It's, oh my god. It's actually the glass floor, but it's all muddy. <laughs> they even teach you how the rock formations are formed. And then there is a hawk rock. You can see the hawk. <laughs> Cave. So seals used to live there, and now it's gone. And we've reached the end of the trail. If I'm not wrong, Ulundo is formed by a volcanic eruption. That's why the rocks look like this, because it's the lava that cooled down. start the journey to climb back up and catch my bus. I'm back at a bus stop just in time. Everywhere in Ulundo is very beautiful. Like everywhere I point my camera at, it's a picture perfect photo. So now I'm going off for the bus. I'm going to the coastal walk at Dodong area. So hopefully I can catch the sunset there. Hingnam Seaside Walk. Outermost point I could get. I'm just gonna rest here and watch the color change. 